Blog Talk Radio. There are assembled the world's four greatest heroes, created from the cosmic legends of the universe. Their mission, to fight injustice, to right that which is wrong, and to serve all mankind. It's going to be awesome again because we're going to go see the Avengers, but you're here with your four favorite radio superheroes, and uh, we're going to get through the show today without an intro, because we don't have an intro set for Captain America. Sorry, we don't Steve. need one. Sorry, Steve Rogers. <laughs> <laughs> Does he even have, like, a on thing? Or... Yeah. Oh, okay. He's got some pretty cool stuff. I have a ringtone on my phone. Yeah, he's, yeah. He's yeah. Has yeah. A, old, old. He has an old live-action movie, TV series. I saw a live-action movie with a big-ass helmet. Yeah. It wasn't that big-ass, but it was, <laughs> it was pretty big. Yeah, it was pretty big, but not that big. Compared to the new one, you know what I mean? <laughs> not, not the one I saw. The one I saw was like spandex. Yeah, and then he had like a giant bike helmet. No. Well, I saw that at Walmart. It said uh, Steve Rogers is Captain America or whatever, and is over at Walmart and had like uh, this. And like, yeah, he had a huge hit like, like, a motorbike coming out of that. That might have been from Google the series. Google might have been from the series. I don't know, but Google it. Steve Rogers is Captain America? No, I guess. I just wasn't telling him back. Old okay. Captain America movie. Yeah. How did they got it? Anyways, what were we talking about? Captain America. Oh, no, no, no. <laughs> wow, good start to the show, guys. Yeah, yeah buddy. <laughs> the first Avenger. <laughs> but, yeah, he's the first Avenger from back in the day. And um, back during he was back in the 40s. World War, War, War II. Yeah, the comics, the first comic they had out of him was in the 40s. March 4th, 41st. Yeah. Uh, obviously, number one, Captain America. And uh, is Red Skull in that one? Yeah, the first, first parents of Red Skull was in number one. But it wasn't the real Red Skull. In case you guys don't know who Red Skull is, he's kind of a Nazi. I guess that's the best way to describe him. Yeah. That just kind of went crazy and. Uh, they take the best to the end too. Yeah. In the movie? Yeah, he's just a, he's a Nazi in real life, man. He just looks like a you know just the most crazy looking guy, red hair. And <laughs> he's the guy who played Agent Smith and yeah and Matrix too. Is that the one? Which one? That guy. <laughs> No. That's one that's it looks like you're on the serial box. That's the old movie. That's you were only looking at the series. Then, yeah, look at the series real quick. I'll just tell you. The helmet. Now look at the helmet. <laughs> but Captain, let's go through Captain America. What's, well, to you guys, what's notable about Captain America? His love for crimes. His love for America. Well, I mean, America. obviously, <laughs> besides that. Well, you've got to be a little more specific there. Well, I'm just saying. It's what sticks that in your mind besides him being... Super soldier and uh, the American soldier that everybody wants to be. He's over friendly, way fucking over friendly. Um, <laughs> you gotta think though. He's from the time where that's where it was. Everyone he's all was like Black that. Widow man in the movie. Yeah, I mean, that's but that's how it was. I mean, that's he, he, was, he, he was comes from a time where he, he that's came where it was. That was popular. I mean, that's where what everyone was. If you were like that, I mean, you were considered rude and everyone hated you. Hey, you fucking cock bag. Pretty much. Put them the, the the up. Put them up. Put them up. Let's have a little 50 cups. Right? <laughs> but, uh, what's most notable? You gotta respect that guy, I man. It is original, you know, for, like, a comic book that they really actually keeps in that time, you know? I mean, like, he's not one of the ones that keeps on getting more and more updated, you know, as it goes along, like, you know, how the Batman has been or, you know, like, Superman has been. He's one that's always remained as one that's been like that time period. You know? Right. He was the first superhero to use a motorcycle. I, he's un, untaintable. You can't taint him. He's like Golden Boy. You can't, taint him. you can't like you can't give him a bad rap. Like he's basically the Golden Boy of Marvel you comics. You can't slay him to be evil. He won't ever do anything yeah. bad ever. He's always gonna be the good guy. Cookies and milk, Captain America. Yeah. <laughs> that's what I think of him when I picture Captain America. Cookies and milk. Yeah, he's a, 
Don't forget apple pie and baseball. Right, and fucking whatever it is from the movie. Where you're doing all the infomercials for the back in the day. Oh, I can't show. remember. Now. Well, I'm going to stop them now. Oh, no. It's Hitler. It's <laughs> Hitler. <laughs> yeah. Have, Have you ever caught her before? <laughs> uh, I've put Hitler in the face 699 times. <laughs> <laughs> Let's talk about the movie. Like, what did you guys think about it? You thought it was right on cue for Captain America? How it should be? Besides Chris Evans and the Fantastic Four thing, I know that's going to be a situation, but... Good yeah, I, it, it was a good movie. The only thing I didn't like was uh, Bucky, 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 like Bucky, back and back. <laughs> I didn't like Bucky. He was uh, actually older than Steve in the movie, and like they were best friends, and that's not how it's supposed to be. Yeah, he was supposed and, to be like, teen. Yeah, he was supposed to be like a little teenager, and he was his sidekick, and then he turns around and dies in the movie, and I'm like. He didn't even die how he's supposed to die. I'm like, seriously, read a fucking comic. All I got to say, read a comic. If you're going to make a superhero movie, read a comic. Wait, that was Bucky? Yes. I didn't know that. You mean the one that gets freaking blown up and whatnot? Fall off the train, yes, and falls into a cavern of death. And oh. doomed. Yeah. <laughs> ah! Yeah. Captain America! Yeah! He's like, Bucky, no, don't die. Fuck <laughs> <laughs> like, like, He doesn't care. That's it. I'm going to punch you in the face. <laughs> Robot man. He's secretly thinking in his head. More sidekick. Fuck yeah. More cheeseburgers for me. Did he use like <laughs> in the actual like series and stuff? Yeah. yeah. He did? He okay. usually carried it. Like in the old comics, he had a gun on the side. He was like, basically a soldier. Well, I always thought that you guys basically main weapon was just that chilled. Yeah. It is. His main and his brain and the flu shot he got that turned him into a freaking mongoloid of oh, yeah. epicness. Uh, <laughs> I just, that, that's just, you know, weird for a superhero to actually be able to do that, you know, be able to use guns and whatnot. I mean, like, Iron Man, well, you have to use, like, you know, his guns, of course, they... they oh, so you're talking guns. about a yeah. super... You're talking about Captain America, though, who fights Nazis. And what else yeah. was he going to do? He can't... I don't know, it just seems like it's always against that moral standards of uh, DC and Marvel or any of them, you know? Yeah, but he's a soldier. Like, and, like, pretty much every one that is a soldier uses a gun, including yeah. John from Green Lantern. That's what he I uses guns, like... I try to explain to people that, like, Captain America is a superhero that when it was wartime back in the day and they needed soldiers, he's the type of mentality we had back then for America oh, yeah. fighting and winning wars for it. And it, America meant something. Yeah, that's, he was the inspiration for a lot of men to draft back in the time. And I like how they had him, like, you know, like the star or anything like that. He's, he's like an Uncle Sam figure. You know? <laughs> he was the cool version <laughs> of Uncle Sam. Yeah. And, like, I love it because he fought that. alongside the soldiers. You know, that's what they say. It's like he he wasn't better than them. He fought with them. What? I got a funny question. What does Captain America do if he gets sad? Because he can't drink. He can't get drunk. He can't do that either. He can't get any kind of fire. Yeah, it's impossible. Yeah, yeah. It builds uh, out of the system in seconds. Sex. Yeah, that's what exactly what I got to say. <laughs> <laughs> I've seen it on your face. So I'm like, punch the bag. Yeah, that's what, like in the Avengers movie. <laughs> punch is the bag. Let's do, let's do the segment we did. We talked about what we were going to do. And make it All the right, first part of the day. segment. Where, okay, this segment is hanging with a superhero. We'll just say that for now. Right. Until something epic else comes along. Where would you take Captain America, and where would you not take Captain America? Do you want to hang out with him? Why don't I go first? You don't have to. I, was just, right. I talked to you. Do a rap battle. You can go left. <laughs> yeah. You can take him to a rap battle. You would take him to a rap battle. The rap battle is just he he get killed. Yeah. No, no, he wouldn't. Yeah, you're right. But he's a good fight, though. What Your language is offensive. What? He's yeah, exactly. using improper nouns. <laughs> and your grammar is the truth. And then, yeah. then a bunch of gangsters would try and fight him, and he would see that boy yeah. fuck shit out of him. Yeah. He piss out of him. You're yeah. talking about a guy. And then after he, he got hit by Thor, he was like, yeah, I'm so Then you. after he gets yeah. up about 15 jigs, he's going to fucking, they'd be like, oh, we're not going to mess with you. So <laughs> <laughs> that's where I would have taken Right. Okay, where, okay, so was that where you would take him or where you wouldn't take him? I guess wouldn't. Okay, where uh, would you I don't like Captain America, so I kind of just want to see him out. So, yeah. <laughs> where would you take him? Um, would I take him? I don't know how long it's going to be. Something funny, right off the top of your head. Doesn't got to have a lot of luck. Okay, uh, damn. Iraq. <laughs> <laughs> that, that fits in. <laughs> <laughs> Joe, 
gun? Where I take him? Yeah. Uh, probably Ryan's. The restaurant? Yeah. <laughs> Wholesome old American meal? <laughs> Where would you not take him? <laughs> Where would you not take him? Uh, strip club. That's true, because he would freak out, and then he couldn't get drunk. He'd be like, what do you guys see in this? Like, really? Look at that. The ass and tits. It's everywhere. Get drunk. Wasted. I can't. This is gratuitous. And <laughs> He's like, those ladies are taking off their clothing. That's improper. <laughs> Nathan, you got one? What? You got one? Where would I take him? Yeah. Um... I don't know. Maybe I think we're just saying, I have a question. How old is he exactly? I mean, like, it shows me. He's only... Was, was he really started off as a little kid? Like, I mean... He wasn't a little kid. Little he was a, like, a scrawny person. Yeah. But, I mean, it just looked like he was really young. I mean, like... It, he was probably... Like, like he was probably 20. around 20. Yeah, he was, like, yeah. 26. He was maybe. old enough to become a soldier. He just didn't have the chic for it. But you're talking about way back in the time when they would accept 16-year-olds. Yeah, as long as they said, um, you 18, son? Yeah. <laughs> Where would you take Captain America? Where would I? Um, a baseball game. Where would you not? Military graveyard. Because he'd be like, oh, my brother. <laughs> 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 man. And then he'd punch me in the face. <laughs> I wouldn't care. Oh. Walked a couple nights. Do you think he did better as uh, uh, Human Torch or Captain America? Well, I think he did better as We did this already. Human Torch. He has Human Torch. Right. He, he was the already. Daddy Junior to Johnny Storm. This is not I was watching Fantastic Four. Four. This is Captain yeah. America. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> he is talking about the guy who plays. Yeah. So it's a legit question. Um, where would I take Captain America? To a yogurt shop. Where would I not Where's take food? You're right. Like, Hi, free. What? <laughs> what? Are you pulling my leg? Take the lion skin and give him the All American Challenge, or what, what's that thing called? The Great American Challenge, or something like that. You like? I like, shoot it in the face. You think you could take it, Captain America? I am America, son. <laughs> <laughs> I'll take it. <laughs> Where would I not take him? Um. Nazi yeah. Nazi Nazi. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, to, uh, <laughs> did you hear one of those German Nazi groups like Well Hitler Museum? Yeah. Oh man. <laughs> <laughs> He'd <would> burn it <laughs> down. <laughs> He'd like a freak out. He'd walk in and then be like I didn't. <laughs> <know. laughs> yeah. Well, Uncle Sam. There'd be some old German that shot him back in the day and he'd be like Where would I not take him? Germany. <laughs> we would not go to Germany. What about you? <laughs> <laughs> um, you take him. Where would you take him? No, I'm not replying. I'm going to have to get his dirty. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Where would you take him, Tormid? <laughs> All right. Yeah. But uh, on the list of Superheroes, how I think it's Captain America to you. Um, out of all superheroes. 51. Wow. Yeah. Really? Yeah. I'd have to say he's probably top 10 for me. Yeah. And I don't like him. Yeah. No, I don't like him and he's top 10 for me. Like, uh, just the popularity? No. How do you think Captain America is a superhero over others? Like, what number would you give him in your life? Top uh, he, he'd be my end. He's, he's my 51. He's a human. I've made this list. He's like my 51. She's like, yeah. I want to crack. She can do more shit than he can. But he's a strategic. He's gung-ho, and he's very strong and super fast. And, like, but that's, that's, not, that's not what makes my, you know, like, you guys personality. Like How do you get on the team? Yeah, he's, he's on my 100 team. all of them. Right? He is on my 100 team. I feel like he's in the top 25 at least. Oh, not for me. <laughs> Don't tell me how to run my list. Well, I'm just saying. <laughs> Johnny? Uh, uh, I I know I like him. It's just oh, he's not it's high on the list. He's not high on the list. Okay. Are we talking like 25 high or 50 high, 75 high, 100 high? 
I don't have like a hundred. I didn't normally stop around fifty. So he's at least in the fifties for yeah. you. Yeah, I he's been he's the top fifty. Batman on my list. Batman, really? He just yeah. I mean, Batman's a good hero, but he I mean, has Captain America's. A he superhero. got a shot. Batman does it without a shot. Are you fucking kidding me? That's I mean, right, that's what I said. That's that was great. Batman's mistake. a good hero. Great mistake. You're 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 dead. Dead. Batman's a good hero, but Captain America's a superhero. No, he's not. He has powers. He's a meat sickle with superpowers. <laughs> he has uh, powers. He's steroids, man. Yeah. That's what he is. <laughs> uh, he's just a bumped up. Oh. You'd be the same way if he said that shit about Superman, so I don't want to hear it. I'm not saying nothing. <laughs> I'm not saying Superman above you. Captain America on my list. Yeah. I can't see how he's, he, he's above Batman. Batman's my, like, number nine, so at least he's higher on my list. Yeah, dude, it's Batman. He would tie him up and put him in girly pants in ten seconds <laughs> and make fun of him and wave his bat dong in his face. Do you bag him? Yeah. Leave my bat balls. Oh, my bat balls. You fight a guy with a red skull that yells a lot and fucking talks in German sometimes because he's mad that grandma dumped him and he's got toxic mass now. <laughs> Why don't you hang out with a joker and fucking the penguin and all those guys that put you fucking in dark side. and chop you up? Hang out with dark side. Have one after me with that guy. Wow. <laughs> okay, i got to divert from that because I'm just going to yeah. go on and on and on. All right, moving on. But, yeah, I think... He's one of the classic heroes, like I said, that just, like, he's going to stand the test of time no matter what, even if he gets stuck really bad. Like, he's just going to stick around because of his the picture. You know what I mean? He is America. Okay. He'll forever be known. Like, he'll always be remembered. You're the captain of America. An amazing, the best country in the world. Do you guys think that, like, if he actually did good, do you think that, like, our country would be better for him? Somebody like that. Yeah, yeah. Someone who's an actor. He would have fire people. People who are already inspired, he would take it like tenfold for them. And other people who... Like, He's that beaconing, that light we need. We don't have that. For the people who are like, oh, I'm going to join the service, and then they're kind of flaky on the edge, they don't know, and then they don't do it. So somebody yeah, like that would, would, be, would be like, I'm doing it. You know what I mean? There might not be so much indecisiveness if we had someone like him. And especially if they had like a poster that said, you know, like it shows the... Or you, you signed to, up to the army. <laughs> I'm and signing. Yeah, if it's all strong, it's just after. <laughs> sure it's seven foot tall or whatever. <laughs> Man. What? That'd be really cool, though. I'm going to have to keep that third. He, uh... Be what? H. Yeah. He can't age. Okay, so let's wonder why they did decide to do that. It's because so the... Yeah. It's basically to bring him to now. How they do it in the comic book series, though? I mean, did they? Did they the freeze, same way. Did they freeze him and then they brought him to the Avengers, or did was most of the comic series like in, in, back in the day? What was the question? He wanted to know is when he was frozen to be brought to modern time. As soon as he was called, he joined the Avengers, or if he had other comics. As there was other comics. As soon as he came out, he didn't. He wasn't straight to the Avengers. Oh yeah. Dude, your feet. Look at look at how black. I mean, grizzled. I'm part of the black foot. Curse black feet. <laughs> oh, black feet. That's like a. That's like that was a part of the Lord of the Rings where he's like, proud foot, proud feet. That's kind of like that. Yeah. But yeah, he uh. He eventually disperses from just the Captain America comic book. I feel like that little inkling of him, he had a lot of team-ups with Iron Man. I feel like him teaming up with Iron Man kind of spawned the idea for the Avengers. Yeah, I think that kind of spawned, like, ignited the idea for, hey, maybe if we incorporate some other superheroes, this would be way cooler. Yeah. Because the first actual united group of superheroes was the Avengers that they did in the comics. Five superheroes that are amazing together, and there were problems even back in the old comics. You know, like they had their different quarrels, and it wasn't it wasn't the five we have now. Like those are not the predominant. You know, you got Thor, Captain, uh, Ant Man, Ant Man, Wasp, Wasp, and 
Oh, yeah, those are the first five. Mm -hmm. And then you have people later you get joined in, you know. And you have people that you hope you see in the movies like Vision coming out. Black Panther. Mm -hmm. And just amazing characters like that. And Captain America always it seemed like he took the lead in that. Why do you think, like, with all the entities that are in that, the Avengers, why do you think he was always the leader in the comics? Um, Thor is never a leader. I mean, he's... He was more of the front line soldier. Yeah, he was the guy, you know, I'm charging in. Yeah, you know, he, he still served Odin. You yeah. know, he still obeys his king. So he's not a leader yet. Mm -hmm. So he follows. Um, Bruce Banner's just kind of one of those guys who's like, ah, I don't want to leave. I'm, I'm the guy who should be here. Yeah, he's kind of not. Stay away from me. Like, he's, yeah, he's not kind of, he's the guy he's that. He's a secret weapon. Yeah, he's yeah. basically the guy that's like, ah, or she doesn't yeah. really have to. So he's like, oh, I'm not going to do it, you know, back off. Maybe when I become smart, all maybe. And <laughs> Henry, Tim, he didn't want to do it at all. Great Hulk. He was like, I don't want to do it. <laughs> I'm the eater burrito. He was like, like the last one to join. Because he, he just, just wanted to use he just wanted to science. science. Science, science, science. And then, it, you know, Janet, the wasp, she was like, let's do it. Yeah, I didn't want to get down to fight anybody. anybody she, was, awesome. yeah, she was like a... We have this power. We should do something with it. And he's like, we are. So I, and she's like, I'll punch you right in the cock. <laughs> do it. Let's join this team. She's like that big, dude. Really? Yeah. But her blacks are strong. Like, they've not grown men on their face. They hurt the whole. Yeah. Yeah. Hulk's like, little bit of bug. You know, I like to have a Hulk voice. I would go to Arnold number one. He should have been the Hulk maybe a couple times a long time ago. A long time ago? Like right after Lou's for a go. I just love a very good picture I did just with you and all your uh, uh, Captain America stuff. Just, you know, have the uh, shield or have the shield, have the mask on, and like uh, be doing the Captain Morgan stance and be like, yeah, we'll captain you. Uh, <laughs> That's pretty awesome. <laughs> oh man, that'd be good. What we were talking about earlier, like. For the army, you got a little captain in you? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. You know we're really a Captain America and you never have a little captain in that, but No, but everybody else would be like, yeah, is, that, is that meant to be dirty or like a good thing? I'm going to do. wants to be in <laughs> <That's your drug. laughs> So, should we join the army because it's going to be men and us? I'm going to do. You're uncomfortable too. What's wrong with you? Where am I? Where am I going to bother me? But you're all like, Captain America, you want a little bit of this on you? Captain America would be uncomfortable in that situation. Yeah, Captain America would be like, what the heck? Are you hitting on me? Yeah, right. He'd be hanging out with his shield naked. He'd be the first one with pants out. Let's do it. I would be calling an Iron Man if he shows up and he's there naked with the shield. He's like, and the robot voice, what the hell are you doing? Like, I'm getting on my shield. That's a fucking pass on. <laughs> what was that? Captain America's long love. I can't remember her name ever. What? His love. That Mary Ducky. Kind of hot chick in the movie, or was that? No. Oh. Dang it. Why can't I remember? I think I will. I will know. It was you at Frey. Go on. 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 That uh, superhero movies always have a good way of, like, you know, incorporating like, romance. So it's, like, yeah. really good romance stories. Yeah, that's a really good one in Captain America, too. Basically, he's crashing and he's calling her at the end. I know. I was like, oh, man. You're not going to be able to make the death. It's a dance. Do you think we're dead? No. No, he never dies. He just simply replaces Yeah. So, I mean, what? Wall Betsy! Why is it always Betsy? I don't know. The whole Betsy, Betty, you know. the whole, the still. Betty, Betsy, seriously. Come up with originally. Tina. Iron Man. Sarah. That'd be a good one. Maybe. What was Mrs. Puff's first name? Pepper. Pepper Pop? Yeah. Pepper Pop? Pepper. Oh, oh, Iron Man is just a, wow. <laughs> Are you coming out of the closet? You know, for that little, no, no, no. I thought you were going to, like, he had, like, Pepper Potts had a brother or something, Pecker Potts. <laughs> yeah, your parents would really have to hate you if it ain't <laughs> <laughs> You're such a thing, vagina. That reminds me of Dragon Ball Z. I... 
Did you just walk in? <laughs> An alarm? Oh. Yeah, I used to go to school with a girl and her name from there. Her first name was Jenna, and her last name was Toll. Jenna Toll. Oh. <laughs> I'm like, I'm not Jenna Toll. She's like, I ain't got to say both. I can't even say why. <laughs> I was like, it's all fucking funny, y'all. Calm down. Calm down, y'all. Calm down, y'all. Yeah, just be like, hey, blame your parents. Are you going to shut Chewbacca off, or is he just going to keep rolling? Oh, he'll shut off after a minute, then he'll come back on his side. Yeah, let's get rid of him. Ah, why were you still sitting in there? <laughs> He's like, yeah, at least in there. Well, yeah, we can hear it in here. Yeah. But Avengers movie, you think that was a good Captain America? That was a good role yes. for him in the Avengers? Um, yes, very much so. I love how he took charge and everyone gave him props to, you know, like Iron Man. I was like, yeah. Lead it up. Yeah. Because there for a while, you see him and Tony Stark beauty. Oh, yeah. Really heavily. Because Captain America was like, you're not a superhero, you're not a hero. He's like, I'm not claiming to be, you know. And, like, he's like, I'll take you on. But no, he's like, go put on the suit. Go put on the suit. <laughs> and then there was a giant explosion. No, seriously, go put on the suit. He's like, go put on the suit. Attack. Uh, attack. <laughs> attack, attack. Man. Woo. Right. Uh, um... Is it almost time for Newbert News? Yeah, I'm feeling it. Yeah. I'm feeling yeah. it. All right. Well, I think we're going to take a little break. Smoking a pancake break, and then we'll be right black. See you guys in a minute. Nubular news. Noob news. And uh, George is going to be taking us away. Woo! <laughs> every time, every time you do that, I see a Ric Flair out. <laughs> this is Noob News with George the Flash. Okay, how's it going, guys? Good, good. Right on. Sexy time. <laughs> All right, good. <laughs> All right, uh, well, see, now, today, I, I have a lot of questions of, uh, concerning Captain America because the most I've ever learned about him was through the movie itself. So, before that, I didn't even know that he was ever even small. I thought he was just always, like, just a buffed up dude. And so, yeah, I mean, the, the entire movie just kind of got to me. I mean, I, I really, I liked it. I, the whole fact that he actually uses weapons and stuff like that still kind of freaks me out because, I mean, you, like I was talking about, you know, like, you got Batman, it's like, you know, you would expect him to use guns, but he doesn't, you know, and he is employed to retirement because of that. So, yeah. And, uh, <laughs> uh, all right, but, uh, Let's see. First off, I'd like to uh, ask, um, is, is Red uh, Skull his only, like, true villain? No. He has got a lot. A clue. A lot? Blood Baron. Uh, I think he's from the 40s. And they, Hydra. They've made comics from um, the 40s until now about him. I thought so. <laughs> so, that's, that's the most okay. epic bad guy right there. I stubbed my toe. That'd be pretty epic. <laughs> so just a big foot. All the things are Jennifer Garner. Jennifer Garner is a bad guy. Bear oh, Von yeah. Strucker. Nathan's saying this boy's got a Captain America mask on and shield. And oh, hey, I do. <laughs> He's ready. We're going to see this. This is how good the Avengers movie was. We're going again to see it. This it's time, so you're her. Full it's free. Oh, it's so nice. <laughs> We're going to see it twice. Red Guardian. Uh, Serpent Squad, Serpent Society. It is the Serpent. Well, what, what, you know, what, what, right what, so the Serpent Squad. It's a group yeah. of snake themed supervillains. Wow, that, that sounds it's like a cobra. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking 
and curl up in a ball and wouldn't be able to move. I hate snakes. It was a thin cobra, eel, and viper. Oh, nice. Yeah, they look really dirty. They look, yeah, vicious. A little bit. Look at that. Epic fight of the day outside. Oh, shit. It's a bit chew out of cat. It's my piece of cheese. <laughs> nah, -uh, you're going to eat those rocks. <laughs> Woo! <laughs> <laughs> I'll just slide down and Rick Flair chop it. Damn. The Lost Holy Stars, the Ultimatum, Ultron, Taskmaster, Red Guardian. He's got a lot. Yeah, and the list goes on and on. There's more yeah. and more and more. And some of the ones that he does team ups with deviate from that and start messing with him. Lady Deathstrike was one of the villains from the X-Men. So he does age, but does like. It's a slow does, does, does his uh, powers ever start to wear off at all, or no. is it just that one time and it's just good for the rest no. of the life? I watched uh, an old series where uh, it was like in the future and he was an old man. Yeah. And uh, like he still like punched the crap out of people when it was he so okay, he all like you know he was like you know like meh, I'm old and yeah and just wow. Wow. Really? Yeah. Didn't stop him. Wow. All right. Uh, let's see. Do you think he'd be good for a GI Joe? Yeah. He is a GI Joe. He is a GI Joe. He's a whole GI Joe team in one person. He is a GI Joe. <laughs> <laughs> he could totally take down Cobra Commander. He could take them all down. <laughs> <laughs> Got nothing on me, my shit. John. John, speaking of GI Joe, John has this thing on his computer, and I thought it was like Cut Nine Joe. Get on the back, Cut Nine Joe. That song? Yeah. I heard it. I was like, does it have a part of Cut Nine Joe? Every time the computer thing comes on, he's like, no, man, it's GI Joe. Yo, Joe. <laughs> I was like, wow. <laughs> That's awesome. <laughs> it's good. But yeah, Captain America, Captain America has many, 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 many of them. Yeah. Like, he probably. Out of all the superheroes, he probably has the most I could think of. And what's just, what's cool about him is like he not only does he like fight his own villains, but he'll fight other villains too. Like like I said, Lady Deathstrike, Kingpin, you know, he, he, loves King Pen. he fights everyone. If you offend him in any way, or his friends, you'll die. It's all. Um, so he had Bucky. Did he have anybody else that ever like helped him out? U.S. government. Uh, Shield. He did have a Shield. team. Yeah, called the Roughnecks. Really? Yeah, they were his own oh. unit. And he got that in that movie. What was that? Was that like from a child? Whenever he was doing like those missions, like on that train and whatnot. Was yeah, that kind of, like, those, those were the Roughnecks. Roughnecks. Those were okay. What's that Leatherneck? Okay. Yeah. Okay. That's pretty cool. Um. Um. <laughs> well, I uh, had rain for it. It was like Rain Diary all of a sudden. All right. Uh, <laughs> let's see. Uh, well, I mean, what is his weapon of choice besides, you know, like, of course, the shield? I mean, does he have, like, a particular gun that he hand uses? Gun. It's a handgun. Yep. His firearm, is, his most favorite one is the handgun, which is usually found on the side until he pretty much comes to the modern time, and he gets, like, a revamp, and he loses his gun, and he saves the shield because, yeah. Old Captain America used to carry the names in the night. Oh, yeah, he carried everything. He was like, like walking back. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but his favorite gun is the handgun because he would, yeah. He just did the shotgun thing. There's, Epa, there's comics with Captain America. He has a shotgun through his oh, shield. Yeah. yeah. In the back when he's riding his bike and he just, like Terminator style, yeah, puts it out. Really? Yeah. Damn. <laughs> <laughs> That's pretty cool. Uh, so, I mean, can Captain, I mean, how would you uh, go about killing Captain America? Cut his head off? Yeah. Stab him. Through the heart, hit him in the heart, trap him. So, I mean, so shoot him in the body. Kind of weaknesses of a human. Yeah, he's yeah. just kind of like can't get sick. He's a pest, basically. Yeah. You, he's like an armadillo. He's got that great big shield. Oh, it's yeah. a he's hard to kill. It's like, you know what I mean? He's a bad guy named Armadillo. Uh huh. <laughs> he's a. It's, it's a lot. What, what a an armadillo, or what is he exactly? He's basically an armadillo. Yeah, it's armadillo. Yeah. <laughs> That'd be kind of creepy. Yeah. You know? right? Just turn it up all. A superpower criminal with the uh, army. Well, you got to think about it. You can't shoot him because it'll bounce off. You can't throw your shield because it will just bounce off. Here's what he looks like. Yeah, that's actually kind of badass looking. It kind of looks like a thing. But with a tail. Maybe roll. 
He rolls up into a ball. The jagged ball. All night long, sweet Susie. <laughs> Anything else? Yeah, that's pretty much it. All righty. Uh, yeah, guys, just so you know, uh, we're having kind of a slow day today because uh, although we really like and respect Captain America, he's not exactly one of our, you know, favorite on you know, so I mean, like, there's like so much... We're covering him because he needs uh, to be covered. He's one, he is the first Avenger. He has to be covered. But we, we had a rough night with Tony Stark last night. We're yeah, all kind of dragging he, out. He brought up, he brought up the big guns. And when I say big guns, I mean Captain. <laughs> we have got the no, no, no. wrong time. It's time for Super Rant. Or sidekick side. Sidekick side. Kick. I'm talking about Becky. Yeah, really. Give him a little bit. Yeah. Give him a little bit of love. All right. Good old Newbert. News is awesome. Good job. That's right. That's right. What? Sidekick Sideshow time. Greetings, friend. and welcome to Sidekick Sideshow. Don't. Call us sidekicks. Yeah, don't call us sidekicks. Is that you? No, that's Robin, I think. No, Red Arrow. Oh, <clears throat> sounds like Robin. Or is always me. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Well, it's Sidekick Side Show, and as you know, Bucky really like was a sidekick, <laughs> but like in the movie, he was too old. Bucky was a teenager and a photographer that took pictures for Captain Bye. America. Stay away from my range, sir. <laughs> Bucky only took pictures at first until Captain trained him in martial arts. And then he joined him on missions. And there was one uh, episode of the new Avengers series that I saw that had Bucky in it. And Bucky was like, he reminded me of Robin because he was doing all that acrobatic stuff. Yeah, yeah, he was. It was pretty. And pretty, Cap, he kind of looks like Robin. And he was like, Cap, when can I have a gun and help? It's like you're not old enough. <laughs> you just have to use your fists. You kind of treat them like Batman treats Robin too. Lucky becomes a Winter Soldier. And uh, yeah, wow, he looks pretty awesome. Is that a cybernetic arm? Uh, no, it. It looks like it. Looks it. Like armor. It looks like. Jax's arm. It's fine. He basically grows. It. That's a flamethrower. Yeah, and a gun. Wow. <laughs> right? Um. Yeah. <clears throat> yeah. I mean, in the movie, they made Bucky die, but like in the comics and other shows and stuff, Bucky grows up and consoles Betsy. Wait, what's her What was Bucky's Betsy's last name? No, Bucky froze too. Guys, Bucky was preserved and was found by a submarine. One of his, different than one of his old members. I did marry her because he made he prom, made a promise. He goes, he goes, if I don't make it, take care of Betsy. But and he said, well, Bucky. no, because in the Bucky I tell, that's what. <laughs> <laughs> no, Bucky was frozen. Emerged and a submarine found him. I'm surprised my friend Chris hasn't called in because he's basically the biggest Captain America fan I know. And he does later date and buy on So I'm sure you'll call in if he's not busy. Yeah. But if you guys want to call in, you got any questions, I'm sure we can answer them for you. 347 um, is that it for Sidekick Side Show? I think so. Well, the only other sidekick he had was his team, but I don't know if he called him sidekick. His motorcycle was kind of his sidekick for a while. Was he really the first of any? Yeah. yeah. No, I mean, like, was he the first out of those characters created? Yeah. Really? Yep. He was made in the 40s. Everyone else was made in, like, 60s and 70s. March of 1941, he was made. Just Back during the war. Yep. Me, Rutgers. Iron Man, Man troops go Iron Man, Man was made to he was made in Tell the Suspense. Um the Hulk didn't show up until he had his own series and like the no no no. The Hulk was in Tell the Suspense also. Or Tales of Astonishment. Thor is from mythology. Technically he could be considered the first. <laughs> That's true. Yeah. Yeah. But he wasn't Marvel Thor until later. I know, I, I would think that they'd like get some sort of like copyright shit, you know. How do you copyright mythology? Uh, okay. <laughs> I mean, 
Miami State running back. <laughs> you know, like, look at her with that face. How do you know? Maybe they have That's like copyrighting the Bible. Yeah, that'd be like the Vatican suing <laughs> that douchebag who made the Jesus <laughs> movie. What's that? No, yeah. Did you really just yeah, he is kind of a he, uh, is, he is kind of a very racist, a religious nut, a racist piece of crap, basically. And he looks like freaking uh, Chief Amanda, and now he's freaking like weird. We be hating on you, Mel Gibson. That's right. <laughs> okay, not kind of weird, Irish man. Yeah. But... <laughs> hey, you're gonna make him talk about Irishman. I'll kill you. I'll kill you. Time for the super rant of the day. Oh, boy. So, this is going to be fun. Yeah, buddy. And I want to look him straight in the eye, and I want to tell him what a cheap, lying, no-good, rotten, four-flushing, low-life, snake-licking, dirt-eating, inbred, overstuffed, ignorant, blood-sucking, dog-kissing, brainless, dickless, hopeless, heartless, fat-ass, bug-eyed, stiff-legged, spotty-lipped, worm-headed sack of monkey shit he is! Hallelujah! Holy shit! Where's the Tylenol? Hey guys, where was going to be? Um, where was going to be? Super rant time. Um, I'm going to talk about movies because those are the only things I can really bitch about because besides the ball. Captain America, America's 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 Captain Ball. Oh, yeah, Captain Ball. Definitely. I want to say to uh, pop into a shield. Oh. Joe Johnson. That would be so cool. <laughs> <laughs> so you just block dirty vaginas with your shield ball? No. Oh. Get that shit out. That's how much I hate Captain America, sorry. Yeah. <laughs> I'm getting a glass of water. Uh, Joe, go fuck yourself for letting them cast Chris Evans, another Marvel character. Joe. Joe Johnson, the guy who uh, directed the first fucking Captain America movie. Oh, the first one. Yeah. Oh, man. And then, you know, go F yourself, because that's pretty much all I have to say to you, because you said a giant month ago. Because, like I said, you messed up pretty much all the Fantastic Four franchise. Uh, there is a uh, sequel coming out Captain for America. Captain America. It's called, uh, uh, I think, I think they're just calling it Captain America the sequel. Oh, yeah. <laughs> uh, or Stephen McFeely is, uh, him, Stephen McFeely and Christopher Marcus uh, said back in April of 11 that they were writing a sequel for it. Uh in June, uh, they said the story uh, was presented. <laughs> um, sorry, sorry. I'm not happy with it because the second movie is going to be back in World War II again. What? It's like mostly flashback movie. Uh, it's just kind of pointless. It's going to be Captain America in modern day having flashbacks. So the only reason he's uh, in... in Day in today's world is just to associate with the Avengers? I don't know, but from what I've read on the scripts and stuff, the movie is 90% flashbacks. It's, uh, we're experiment, uh, you know, experiencing the flashback elements from the period of World War II stuff. You know, they, they weren't able to say much more on it, but uh, yeah. I did, Chris uh, Evans had signed on to it. And it's not going to be released until 2014. Wow. Which so makes me not happy. What the hell is it? Oh, man, I mean, the next Avengers movie is going to come out. Everybody's going to be tired of the Avengers in two years. They need to do it now. Yeah. Uh, One like a slew yeah. of, like, Iron Man, Hulk, Thor, like, you know what I mean? Every, every two months, just another one. Uh, just to make you guys on, leave on a happy note, Thor 2 will be out before Captain America 2 is, like, even starting filming. Iron Man 3 comes out in November of this year. I'm pretty excited about this. Fucking awesome. But I want to see another uh, Thor movie. Cause when's the next Hulk? They need to bring up. That should be soon, too, right? First Hulk movie again? Yeah, but we'll, we'll talk about that on, on Hulk Day. Day. I saw a guy getting playing Mandarin. Just saying. Does he, he look awesome? He looks, I mean, he's, he's a legit person. He's oh, legit. yeah. I mean, he's... I don't know. Oh, yeah. I don't know. Oh, 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 I don't know.
you gotta be you gotta be Mandarin to be a Mandarin. Yeah. True story. <laughs> that's but that's there. pretty much all. Is, you know, don't get out of Marvel. <laughs> get out. <laughs> you just have the Tourette's kind of fuck. Get out of Marvel. Bitch. <laughs> How dare you? But it's going to go. I'm going to punch you in the face. Captain, Captain America has times four, which is two. It's going to be the name of the movie. What? Yeah. <laughs> I'm, I'm if, 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 if you went to, like, an Avengers... Or uh, World War II at, though. Right? Nathan, if you went to an Avengers, like, uh, cast party, and you saw Chris Evans cool. there, I'm would you punch him? Man. I would like punch him right in the dick. <laughs> Right today. Did you get his autograph first or after? Uh, first. Right off the one. <laughs> but I want him to say no, something I'll like for you for a little bit. Oh, oh God. For me. What? What's in the second one? Uh, uh, what? No, I'm not going to fill in my knee. Okay. <laughs> All right. Well, it's time for Superhero Secret Vault. Well, who's got that shit today? That would be, uh, that'd be me. You got, are you ready for this? I'm sure true fans might know this, but everybody else probably won't. Oh my god! Did you know? Wow. Taurus? Sorry. Beauty God. Yeah, you know who that was? Lou Ferrigno? Lou Ferrigno! What the ball? I told you Lou Ferrigno played the whole lot. Oh, you told me. Why? Get, all get his freaking, he's a good hand the fucking ass out of there. He's a good hole. Shut up. You loved it until you found out about it. <laughs> I got it, man. Oh, I'm like, hey, Lou Ferrigno. Until I found out that Lou Ferrigno was the original ever. ball, I thought it was Andre the Giant. Okay. Andre the Giant. Keep it secret. Keep it secret. Greetings, true believers. Okay, so I have Secret Bolt today, and if you know that uh, my if you're a my big green ball, <laughs> if you're a true Captain America fan, you might know this. If you not, you maybe not know this. I knew it. I'm not fucking Captain America. Uh, there was a time while Captain America was in present day where the state of the U.S. government pissed him off, and he stopped being Captain America and took up a new name, huh. known as the Nomad. That's pretty awesome. But, of course, later on, something happens. I think it involved the Red Skull or one of his descendants. And uh, <laughs> he wants the picture. Yeah, he wants the picture. It's a horrible <laughs> Mel Gibson movie. <laughs> you hate on him. You're like, he watched an epic movie. Oh, yeah. It was like, that's why that's probably why he quit being Captain America. Yeah, probably. It was Mel Gibson. Blame him for everything. He's the reason why we have massive hurricanes. Mel Gibson. And you know, uh, so there was a threat, and he took up being Captain America again, which is good. But you know, the whole period of not caring about America for a little while, he basically lost faith. Like, technically, most of the world has for a. For us. For a little. So basically he took he took into account what everybody else thinks about America kinda now. And it's mainly the government he hated. Yeah. How it changed since his time. More corrupt and very facetious and lies a lot more than it did back then. Plus Roswell didn't happen before then. Before she, uh, little, Anything else to the secret secret vault? I, I got, got something. Captain America is an alien. Uh, he's actually Mexican. <laughs> <laughs> That's good. Red Skull, uh, the first Red Skull you meet in Comic One and Captain America One wasn't the real one. It was actually the second one that served the real one, which would, uh, the first one was, uh, George Maxon. Oh, yeah. And he served Johan Schmidt, which is the true Red Skull. And the, re the reason I'm bringing this up because the third one, Albert Malik, not spell out my name. Too related to the Red Skull. Actually killed Peter Parker's parents, making him the catalyst for Spider-Man. Wow. Because if his parents were there, blah blah blah, things would be different. He may not become Spider-Man. The Nomad and that's both really good. Good job, guys. 
Yeah, buddy. Uh, the top was known as nutification. How do you? <laughs> what? Who's he justifying? Well, uh, That's what I was about to ask. I'm like, sir, he has time to How do you justify that bastard? You filthy criminal. I am the villain of the story. <laughs> oh no, your old eyes do not deceive you, Brucey. After all, don't be better than you. That's pretty cool, actually. Wow, that is really awesome. But what's up, guys? Mikey and I got the villainous justification for today. And what? Everybody's been going off kilter. We've been doing this a lot. I think I'll go a weird one today yeah. just for the fun of it because I don't like Captain America, and I don't want to do any Captain America justifications for superheroes because that would be basically I don't like America, <laughs> and I love America, so... I'm in white. I'm glad of, to be American. Oh, yeah. I mean, because I could be a fucking Portuguese kid selling soccer balls five years old. Yeah. Yeah. Used to be. That would be horrible. It's your own kind of life for me. I'm glad I'm American, but I like my freedom. Right. I like to be able to say what I want when I'm... I like to sing and dance in the street. I'd be a prosecutor in the town. Oh, we can't smoke weed. Dude, there's people who can't walk out in public. Oh, we can't smoke weed. Or show their faces. Yeah, like women are allowed to show faces like a mirror. They get like some. They're directed. That's awesome. I mean, no. Awesome. Oh. Anyway, the only justification for the day is... Oh, God. Super villain from Zelda. Gan... Gan? Ganondorf. His oh, original, one, his original a... name was Ganon. All he wants is a princess. Don't we, all, don't we all want a princess at some point in time? That's not what he wanted. <laughs> He wants unlimited power, but on the way, he kind of he 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 takes it to another level. <laughs> <laughs> what we're laughing at is George playing with a skull to put a Captain America face on it. We're going to take pictures. <laughs> Oh, <laughs> 
smash, little man! Little man, leave Hulk alone! Let's do this! Come on! Hulk is strongest there is! Okay, Bob. Let's try that again. That thing is really funny. <laughs> <laughs> Only in George's hands, so. though. Yeah. All right. We're on there. Okay. I have two, but should I just do one? No, you just can do both. Yeah. You can do both. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. We always do it anyways. We end up adapting it and doing different ones from those. Oh, well, this would be cool. Wow. No, this is cool. Okay, my first one wow. is... My first one is... I'm already I'm allowed to you whenever I fucking fart, man. Anyway, uh, <laughs> my first one would be uh, Baraka versus uh, Wolverine. 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 Because he can regenerate. Okay. Well, technically, so can Baraka because he's a demon. No. Yeah, so Demons can be killed. Wolverine? Not so much. Like, yeah, you can kill Baraka easily. Okay, fine. Then Hulk versus Carnage. That's a good one. Hulk, Hulk, Hulk. Why? Hulk is strong as there is. <laughs> yeah, but you can't really hit Carnage. Okay, you, okay here's, here's how Watch it's going to do. Carnage is going to come up. That's exactly what I'm talking about. Carnage is going to come up, hit Hulk sometimes. Hulk's going to get pretty tall, and then he's going to go for his Nova Slam, where he, like, claps his hands, and the ground right. waves, and they're going to make it go, <laughs> and Hulk's going to punch him. And he's going to go, Right. Any, like every bone in his body. Any kind of sound waves hurts the, the alien that's on him. And Hulk is going to scream alone. He's going, ah! and that's going to be enough to make the symbiote go, sit down! That's what it does. Hulk's a great boss of the jelly ring giant. Hulk is smash, little man. Yeah. That's where the George and John are going to have a fight one day. They're like literally going to fight. I love how we have, like, the new sitting next to him, and then another like, bigger all the time. You guys are like a married couple. That is pretty funny. You, you're going to tame it for And it's only during the show. They don't do this out of the show. No. Well, That's they had kind of like that little Mortal Kombat thing last night in the parking lot where he was like, okay. Oh, I picked my last name legibly. You did. On a side note. You did. <laughs> Maybe. Yeah, and then you racked yourself to make me smile. Yeah, dude. I totally did some Suzanne Summers shit on a fucking galaxy or whatever it's called. Oh, about, yeah, Suzanne Summers. About rip my sack in half. That chick that used to do the workout video like that. And what? And four. And what? And four. Oh, three. Uh, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, whatever she used to say. Yeah. <laughs> the chick that used to be on TGIF. She was on... Uh, yeah, thank God it's Friday. Back in the day on ABC. Yeah, I remember that. That show was awesome. That had well, show it was a it was a series of shows. Uh, it had Urkel, Stanley Nattered, and then uh, the beginning. The show had a roller coaster. Yeah, step by step. Step by step. Yeah, and then she was on step by step. She played the mom, and then she had a yeah. crap crap ton of workout videos. Spy Master. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Oh, uh, she's been some time after. That's good stuff. Man, we kind of flew through today. We got an hour. We're done. I know. We got a bunch we of little... We do kind of have to stop early if we're going to make it there in time. What time is it? I don't know. It's about 8. 8 or 5. Uh, what are you looking up? Um, go ahead and do comments. Oh, you. Oh, Really quick. Where did I put the stomach? Over there. Oh, Hi. Hi. Oh, I brought a little bit of my own collection today, so I'll talk about it on the show a little bit. You guys get a chance to check out any of uh, the Brave and the Bold? It's basically a mashup of like the Justice League together in different parts. Like, number 82 is Batman and Aquaman, and they're actually underwater, and Batman looks like a oh, And then uh, check out some action comics, uh, number 273. <laughs> Superman is uh, 
He's the announcer of some weird-looking race for an in the world of the Mr. mix a uh, uh, The being from the fifth dimension. Yeah. <laughs> I feel like your neck is going to get, like, caught in chest hair. Because <laughs> he has a lot of chest hair. A lot of chest hair. He's, he's, he's uh, you know, stallion. Just like Carl from really, Awkward really, on your floor. I get really long hair on my nipples. Uh, you know, <laughs> so Nipple hair? I just, like, really long hairs, man. One of them got caught on my shirt one day and melted. I was like, oh. Uh, uh, he ripped his badass nipple ring out. Yeah. Yeah, you know, I'd never get a nipple ring ever. I'd be so afraid that like I'd be sleeping one night and get caught in the blanket like roll over and all that. It'll be really bad. Because if we pay you to just call Ray and put the mask on it. Moving on. Comic for you. <laughs> but uh yeah, the next one is another action comics, uh number two thirty seven and basically What's that connected to? Court Kane is trying to tell everybody he's Superman. And nobody believes him? Yeah. Like <laughs> yeah, right. He's on the cover, he's smashing a desk in the lady. Harry White's desk. Stop clowning around, Clark. And then he rigged the boss's desk to pull up. Did he take off his glasses? No. <laughs> <laughs> I am Superman. Lois <laughs> <laughs> Lane refuses to believe it for the longest time. I think she still tries to refuse it. She's like, I know you are. Um, yeah, I mean, Mary. Wear one of these underneath their shirt. Okay. <laughs> Just, okay. Me and Nathan Mallet, we're the only ones, but yeah, still. And then uh, check out the Brave and the Bold, number 81. It's the Batman and the Flash, and they're fighting a really big guy named Bork. Bork. Yeah. Makes me want to pork. He, he talks in uh, pork two-word sentences. No hurt. Bork nice. Kind of like a human Hulk. He's Bork like, hungry. <laughs> yeah. Really? Yes. Wow. Such a ripoff. And then... Uh, Superman, number 110. Ooh. Basically, ants and all kinds of insects invade Earth and defeat Superman. So you think. Yeah, until the next few comic books. Yeah. Never knock out my hair. It's on my hair. But uh, I think we're going to take another little break because Man says we're waking up. And then uh, we'll be back with some sports and the rest of our... Uh, that's a favorite. Because she's fucking hot. 
second witchblade. She can tie me up with her chains and then rape me. Yeah. Let's make it happen. She can rape you with a knife. Mm. Yeah, she's not going to. She's going to rape my dick. With her vagina. Uh, yeah. Orgy? Orgy? Orgy. <laughs> Orgy. Is there a female carnage? There are female symbiotes. Yeah. I don't yeah. know yeah. any of their names. Well, I want to do one of them. <laughs> Katy Perry count. Now there's a superhero. Make your hey, vagina as big as me. I just like jump in. Oh. oh yeah. I could also make tentacles and do stuff to you. <laughs> I think I would do Wonder Woman's mom. Oh, the queen? Yeah. The queen of the Amazon. Jesus. Yeah. Great. That's, That's a point. <laughs> not, to mention, not to mention that Ares would strike you down. That'd be like um, Futurama, whatever they all do with barbarians and whatnot. I was thinking about saying that. Yeah. <laughs> that was like new, new, and they're in like body chats. It's like, yeah, yeah. Oh, we got so much yeah. <laughs> 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 It's that'd be, that'd be your way to go out, though, man. You have to say. Who would you, who'd you do, superhero? Tony Stark. He's not superhero. You have to say Iron Man. Fine, Iron Man. He's on the Iron Man. Why Iron Man? I mean, you can't fuck a robot. <laughs> Fine, I'm not going to Captain America. You can't fuck a guy with a robot you know, in front yeah, of the plane. I'm just going on a list here. <laughs> She's got to catch up. She's got like five more. We can't have five shows of it. <laughs> you can do somebody that's got like a flap like Robin. You can just be like, hey, baby. <laughs> not none of them robots and guys that have shields in front of their dick. That's going to be hard access. Oh, well, yeah, remember, Tony could have a special suit for that. <laughs> you can probably create one. You know, pepper pot is already made and make one. You can't wear in a hurry and you gotta fly. We can do it in the air. <laughs> did any of them say pepper pot? I oh, yeah. I think I did for the Avengers show. Post Avengers show? You guys did Black Widow and I think I did do pepper pot. Oh, pepper pot. I've heard pepper pot mentioned, but I don't know if it was during Sex with a Superhero. You know what? There's a little spoiler that before the movie, we seen the movie that she was supposed to die in the movie, but she didn't. Which is cool. I don't know. I just never thought about her with all that traffic. She's hotter now. She's older. Oh, yeah. You know the uh, mom her is her mom? Her actual mom? Yeah, her actual mom. Who? The mom from uh, Meet Parent. All right, we want to move on to gadgets. Or oh, right to prank yeah. people. Gadgets, you want to go first? No, buddy. You never go first. I always go first. So what are you talking about? No, you say just the last, and we're all like, oh, go first this time. Um, oh, the reason I said me not first because I didn't have one yet. Okay, Johnny. Uh, I'd like. Like an original Power Ranger Morpher, that would really be good. That is pretty cool. The Mighty Morphin style? Yeah. Georgie? Yes, sir. Huh? Yes, sir. Okay. One. I want to take a word. Right? Yeah, give me a hold of the word. Pretty awesome. awesome. Any specific one? Mm hmm. I want the White Tiger one. You can try that by yourself. And it you can a robot or the tiger or yeah. part of the other. All right. Give me fucking white. I want the right. flute that Tommy has. That call the dragon, the green dragon. dragon. He never got in that thing. No, he got on top. Yeah. And the only time he got in it was like when he was a bad guy. He got in once and drove it. But when he's good, he just controlled it with the dagger flute. That's what she said. I mean, I want, I want to hit you guys. You can pick up magic wand, you know, what I'm saying. Mm. Well, one of them have <laughs> wow. Okay, move it right along. Yeah. Did you guys? Did you guys? Yeah. That's cool. Which one would you turn into? Uh, straight up, uh, Agumon, straight up, all the way to Wargreymon. I mean, that's that's the old man. That's like my favorite. Agumon! I'm going to tattoo on my back. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Did he, did he, Give me the Digivice from Digimon Frontier, uh, the, the detector, the detector of light. I'd be a happy boy. Turn the logo on. Don't suck it, bitch. Uh, I think I'd like Proto Man suit from Mega Man. That'd be awesome. 
with only a suit of his body. Oh, yeah. You could just get Proto Man. Or Zero. Zero. Zero would be a fucking awesome gadget. Oh, yeah. Frank time? Who are we going to Frank? I don't know. I don't want to do the intro because it makes me laugh. Okay. <laughs> Man, there's a hot bag of cats outside. <laughs> yeah. Do you think it's because it's hotter outside they get more worked up? No. Just cats like, and cats are just like, I can't wait a year. Twice a year. Then they get an estrus like four times a year. I don't even know what that is. Time for a prank show. Hello. Hello. two for 20, which is um, one appetizer and two entrees for $20, and we also ha and we have a 7-ounce and a 9-ounce on that menu. Do you have anything bigger than that? Um, we have our 12-ounce New York strip. Uh, anything bigger than that? No. Oh, that makes me upset. Um... How how much would the four of your twelve pound steak be? Oh, hold on a second. Four of them? Yes. Well, they're sixteen ninety nine a piece. Sixteen ninety nine a piece? Uh -huh. Are you kidding me? No. Oh. <sighs> ah. Oh my god, you should do Adam Wentz. 
we're calling Subway, and she's like, I need you to deliver. I'm sorry, I'm a bit tangled up right now. Poison Ivy's got me in her mind. And be like, can you deliver? I'm really hungry. I need that. Back no, up. He, should, he should be in the middle of a death trap. I'm a bit tied up in the moment. And can you get it here within the next five minutes <laughs> or something like that? I, I need to break down before he eats meat. Can <laughs> <laughs> you deliver? I remember we tried calling 541 and with chips in a soda it'll be How long is the long one? 796 It's 7 not 796 feet That's a long what? one No, I mean how long is the sandwich? Do you have tuna? Yes. I like tuna Can you wrap can you tuna for me, please? I would love tuna. Yes, we have tuna. tuna. 
What about two more meatballs? That's a hell of a sandwich. Meatball tuna? That's fish and meat. Meat fish. Fish and meat. Meat shit. Okay, sir, I'm very sorry, but I actually don't have time for this, so for you to sit here and joke around on the phone. I'm going to hang up now. Feasible question. Asking sandwich. Priority. Answer. Do not terminate. Shit! <laughs> Dude, I'm trying not to laugh so hard. <laughs> I've been holding it in. He was laughing too. Did you see him? Did I turn it? It's your turn. It's your turn. You got to call the real king. He's got Petco. Alright, got the kitty. Is there a need to get in, baby? It's spreading shit everywhere. You <laughs> <laughs> got worms. He's shitting floor. This is cold. I won't be that good today. Miller. <laughs> you go again, John. Err. Sequently. Or Nathan, it's your turn. You go. <laughs> I don't know, but I get confused about the sandwich talking. I'm just like, you can learn how to fish. Four three nine four one three nine. For what? Four three nine four one three nine. Why do you use Yahoo? Google, man. Let's go on. I'm not going to do it. Four three nine four eight one. Three nine. We'll do fifty nine next time. So you can do it. What? Officer Doty. We're sorry. Oh, fuck. You have reached a number that has been oh, disconnected fuck. or is no longer in service. Officer Doty would be a good one. I know. I'm telling you. They're going to I'm not scared, Turkey. Code and the <laughs> 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 like the back of the fucking head, man. The motherfucker was always over there. Yeah, he was always at my apartment. It was kind of bad to stay at cops room. I was a seagull drinking. 439. Always over there. 439, 4159. Is it true? Is it being a police officer against the law? Yes. Is it? Yes. Is it? Yes. Really? Yes. Like big time trouble? Yes. Let's do it. Hello? Hello? Benton Royal King, sir. Speaking, how may I help you? Hey, y'all. Can you hear me? Yeah. This officer Doty from Ben Police Department. Speak with who? No. Can you hear me? I can hear you. Okay, this is Officer Doty from the Benton Police Department. Okay. Uh, now, it seems to me that you guys have had some criminals run around your area. I was supposed to come in and talk to someone about this. Would you like to speak uh, with the manager? Well, I'm talking to you, aren't I? Is that I'm good? Not the man I'm not the manager. Who the hell called me about this? I'm on I'm on uh I'm on duty here. I mean, is this a joke? Do I got time for jokes? Hello? <laughs> I called that. What? Call back. Fuck that. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck that. You know what the girl had done? If right when she was talking to you, the real officer Doty walked in. Oh my god. Oh, I'll be like, oh, hey, aren't I talking to you on the phone? We should call them back. And I'll be like, I'm in trouble. I have a very good kitty. Dying. Is that your name? Alright, who's calling? I don't know. I'm not sure damn member. Find a second deal. Probably don't. Ain't no makeup. Yeah, yeah, but... Which one? McDonald's. Yeah, yeah. 4996633. Wow. I work there. 
we have to run some of it? Yeah, I'm delivered. 
Watch, watch someone that works there at Burger King be with one of our listeners. Bro, they're they're like, oh, man, they called us. I'm going to go in there and be like, you didn't really hang up on Shaquille O'Neal. They're like, what? Arnold. Well, fuck. This Arnold. They're like, you hung up on Arnold. No. He paid me to come get this for him. <laughs> He's in Super 8 right now. <laughs> oh, motherfucker. You got mad. And our work done. Well, I think that's the end of our show for today. See you guys. <laughs> we love you guys. Good night, Gotham City. Good night, Metropolis. Bye-bye. Tune in tomorrow. Same bat time, same bat channel. Super 8 Hotel. <laughs> you don't skill me, you. You don't do it. Banana dick. But I don't know if you like my cat is killing Oh, my cat is killing himself. I have a cat. His name is not my cat. He's bad. 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 He's